So things could get pretty spicy from the get-go here. Henry Jocelyn got a second place in his uh, first heat. But now it's very much time for the drivers to put on a good fight. Clement Utran and Henry Jocelyn from Dylan Visser and Sasha Van Bosch. Cameron Pratt Thompson and Daniel Dalakian from Hugo Manias and Adrian Ferrer. Morgan Moore and Vic Stevens from Cahal Clark and Marius Barry Berg. Hugo Martiniello and Joey Brown. Francisco Macedo and Colin Cronin. Oliver Stilp and Raul Martinez from Mick Blankespoor and Harry Yule. Adrian Alcibier and Pedro Cachada from Hugo Latore and Adam L. Osta. And let's see how it all plays out. Can Utran lead or is Jostin going to get a better start? Looks as though it's going to be the former as we go. Green. Great start from the front. No problems at all for Utran in front of Dylan Visser and Cameron Pratt Thompson. They make their way through. So Dylan Visser, the Dutchman, is already going to be charging forward to try and take on the race leader, Clement Utran. No need for the yellow flags yet as up to turn four. Drivers work their way through the hairpin. Is everybody going to get through in fine position? Yes, they do. Clean racing so far. And out in front, Dylan Visser is trying to shake off the attentions of Cameron Brad Thompson, Henry Jocelyn, and Hugo Manias. And Dylan Visser nearly losing his position there as a big move from Cameron Brad Thompson. Here comes Jocelyn on the inside. And a little nudge of Visser there from Jocelyn. This is perfect for Clement Utran. This is what he wanted. They're battling and scrabbling away for second, and they're leaving everybody for dead. Here comes Jocelyn, diving on the inside of Visser. Manias is close as well. Hugo Manias trying to get through, and he can't make it stick. So all of that squabbling, as another place is made up there, that looked to me like uh, Adrian Ferrer trying to get up the inside to make a position. And he's lost ground there to the 55 of Morgan Moore. So Morgan Moore getting a move into sixth position. But look at that. Two seconds clear now. Clement Utran is long gone. They need to stop squabbling amongst themselves, really, and start closing in on the field. But I think Visser has already decided, well, there goes the victory. I'm going to get into second, which he does. Jocelyn goes on the curbs. And I'm afraid that's Manias and Brat Thompson through. So Henry Jocelyn falls to fifth position. Clement Utran must think it's birthday and Christmas come early. He's got a massive advantage now. So Dylan Visser is trying to shake off. Manias! Oh, contact from Cameron Brad Thompson. Manias was too busy trying to get his run on Visser. And I'm afraid Brad Thompson ended up coming off worse. So a big shame for the British driver as he tumbles down the order. He's still going, but that's cost him a good dozen places or so there. So that really does uh, cause a big headache for Cameron Brad Thompson. Joey Brown is apparently under investigation according to the Zabi screen. Look at that gap that Clement Utran has got of over Visser and Manias. Visser, Manias and Jocelyn are now having a great squabble. Visser's going defensive. He clearly feels that it's all over for the win. Clement Utran has this one to lose. But Manias is trying to defend. So is Visser on the inside. Henry Jocelyn gets into third position on Hugo Manias. So a good overtaking move. What about Dylan Visser? The Dutchman still holding on a second position for the time being. Colin Cronin is under investigation now as well. We don't know whether that's for an incident out on track or whether that's for the start. Oh, a big late lunge there from Jocelyn. He gets through and Manias is trying to get past both of them. Jocelyn is through. Visser defends, holds third position. And then in fifth place, that's Cahal Clark in the victory lane karting machine. He's up in fifth place. What a drive from Cahal Clark. Here he comes on the inside of Manias. Can't get by. So Cahal Clark really starting to take some names out there as he runs in front of Adrian Fera. Hugo Marti is seventh. Brett Thompson is in eighth from Stevens and Delakian. Here we go. On the inside, Manias will dive in on Visser. Clark and Ferrer will be on the inside as well. And they both get past in unison. So Jocelyn into second, Manias into third, fourth is Clark, here comes Cahal Clark on the inside, third position will do, Fera trying to go with Manias and they both go out wide, Manias comes off worse and that costs him positions there, Dylan Visser manages to recover as does Cameron Brad Thompson. So Clement Utran is now four seconds clear of everybody else and I think we've lost Francisco Macedo, there he is, Francisco Macedo is out on the run to turn four. I can't tell whether that was mechanical or whether someone tripped him off the road. But certainly the Portuguese driver is now gonna face a long walk home after this race. 
So there is the 11 of Cahal Clark. In behind and he gets through. Nice move from Cahal Clark. Great overtaking move to get him in a second place there on Henry Jocelyn. So great work from Cahal Clark. He is now B2. The former IAMI Euro Series title winner in Mini X30, Cahal Clark is now continuing his consistent form and having moved to the red speed chassis with victory lane karting, he is now the fastest driver on the track and into second place. He's let them all squabble away. Second is all he can do here. Clement Utran is long gone, but still, Cahal Clark is getting the work done as Dylan Visser moves back on the inside of Cameron Pratt-Thompson and moves up another place. So good work so far from Cahal Clark to get into second position. Henry Jostlin is third. Then Adrian Ferrer and Hugo Martiniello. Dylan Visser has got past Cameron Pratt-Thompson and then it is Sasha Van Pad Bosch in eighth in front of Hugo Manias and Daniel Dalakin in the top 10. Now Sasha Van Pad Bosch is trying to squeeze his way through on the inside of Dylan Visser. There is Clement Utran. Country mile ahead of Cahal Clark and Henry Jocelyn. That's what happens when you squabble away for position two on the opening lap. You give the leader a country mile to play with. So Clement Utran is never going to have an easier race to win. The VDK driver absolutely dominant so far. There is the battle of a second. And up to third has come Adrian Ferrer for Mole Racing. No wonder he set the fastest lap of the race in order to do that. A 105 flat for Adrian Ferrer. Henry Jocelyn in fourth position. And then it is Hugo Martiniello running in fifth place in front of Dylan Visser and Cameron Pratt Thompson. Sasha Van Pad Bosch is eighth. Hugo Manias and Daniel Dalakian in the top ten. So Clement Utran well clear, although fair play to Cahal Clark. He's got that gap down to below four seconds. So Clement Utran does not have it all his own way in terms of one lap pace. Cahal Clark went four tenths of a second quicker than him on the last lap alone. And now that Cahal Clark has got into the lead, he's taken another two tenths out of him on that sector alone. So Cahal Clark is taking half a second a lap out of Clement Utran, but it's going to be too late. So Utran is still going to be well clear on the final lap. He just has no issue at all. He's got a massive advantage. Adrian Ferrer is trying to catch up to Cahal Clark on the final lap. But Clement Utran can just chill and cruise home. No major problems for him. As the VDK Racing Team have given him the ultimate karting chassis to battle with here this weekend. In terms of setup, in terms of handling, and in terms of confidence. Clement Utran looking like a solid package here this weekend. And he will become the third different driver to win a race over the weekend in the Junior X30 battle. Through the double apex left-hander and into the final turns, Clement Utran will never win an easier kart race in his life. Excellent work, and he sprints to the victory. Job done. Second place for Cahal Clark. The gap has been absolutely, uh, has been absolutely assassinated in the final couple of laps. He got it down from over four seconds to three seconds, but it's still perfectly comfortable for Clement Utran. Cahal Clark second from Adrian Ferrer, Henry Jocelyn and Hugo Martiniello. Only the one retirement in the end and that was Francisco Macedo. But what a run from Clement Utran. Really did a strong job all the way through and put on an excellent, excellent display as he takes victory by three seconds to Cahal Clark and Adrian Ferrer. So we are going to see some great battles from this young Frenchman over the course of the weekend. So what can Clement Utran do in continuation? We will surely find out as he's been phenomenal all the way through. So from Clement Utran's point of view, he takes the victory in front of Cahal Clark and Adrian Ferrer from Henry Jocelyn and Hugo Martiniello. That is your top five. Nine places gained for Cahal Clark. Five from Ferrer, eight from Hugo Martiniello. Dylan Visser in P6 in front of Hugo Manias and then Sasha Van Pad Bosch in front of Cameron Pratt Thompson. Daniel Delakian comes home in 10th. Then Colin Cronin ahead of Vic Stevens. Marius Barryberg, the Norwegian, is 13th in front of Morgan Moore and Joey Brown. 
Raul Martinez in front of Pedro Cachada and Oliver Stilp is 18th. Then it is Hugo Latore who comes home ahead of Mick Blankaspor. Adrian Alcubierre is in front of Harry Yule and Adam El Oster. We already know about the one retirement. That was Francisco Macedo. But we also know that there are two drivers under investigation, namely the 43 of Colin Cronin and the 39 of Joey Brown.